good morning student welcome back to our maths class in the last class we learn about a division of a two digit number by a one digit number today we are going to see our division of three digit number by a one digit number first type without remainder without remainder means the remainder is equal to zero the remainder comes to zero that is the without remainder now look at the example a divide 842 by 2 842 by 2 just you have write a solution uh, write a dividend and a divisor we can multiply by the first 100 place here 8 is the 100 place so how many twos are 8 yes two four twos are 8 so you have write a four in quotient four twos are 8 So you have write in eight in dividend. Then subtract eight minus eight is zero. Then bring down the tens place here four. So you bring down the four. Then how many twos are four? Yes, two twos are four. So you have write a two in quotient. Two twos are four. Then subtract four minus four is zero. Then bring down the ones place. Here two will be there. One place, so you have bring down two and write a two. How many twos are two? Yes, one twos are two. So one write in a quotient. One twos are two. Now we can subtract two minus two. Yes, zero. Therefore, quotient is yes, four hundred and twenty-one. Quotient four hundred and twenty-one. A remainder is yes, zero. Now look at the another example. I divide six hundred and thirty-six by six. Six hundred and thirty-six by six. Write a solution. First, you have write a dividend inside and divisor outside. Then multiply by the six. How many six are six? Is one six or six? So you have write a one in quotient one six or six. Then we can subtract six minus six is zero. Then bring down the tens place. Here three will be there. So you write a number three. Here three. Here six. Three cannot divide it by the six because three is the smallest number. So we cannot divide it. So bring down the ones place also dividend. Yes, bring down six also. Here both numbers you bring down no. So you put a zero and quotient. Okay. Bring down the two numbers, so the zero in quotient. Then how many six are thirty six? Yes, six six are thirty six. Six six are thirty six. Then subtract thirty six minus thirty six is zero. Therefore quotient yes hundred and six. Therefore quotient hundred and six. Then remainder zero. That is division by division of three digit number by a one digit number without remainder. Then next up with remainder. With remainder means yes, remainder comes to any numbers one, two, three, take any number. Here first one a divider four hundred and sixty five by two. Write a solution. First you can write a dividend inside and then. Divisor outside. Here first we can divide it by the hundred place. Here hundred place, yes four will be there. How many twos are four? Yes two twos are four. So you have write a number two in quotient. Two twos are four. So four write in the dividend. Yes four minus four is yes, zero. Then bring down the six. Then how many twos are six? Yes three twos are six. So you have write a number three in quotient. Three twos are six. Then subtract six minus six is zero. Then bring down the tens place, uh, ones place. Sorry, then bring down the ones place. Five. Here how many twos are five? Only two twos are four. Four. Three twos are six. So you have take a number two. Two twos are four. Then subtract five minus four is yes, one. Therefore, quotient three hundred and thirty-two. Remainder one. Therefore, quotient three hundred and thirty-two. 
three hundred and thirty two. Three hundred and thirty two. Remainder one. Now look at the another example. I divide five hundred and fifty seven by five. Write a solution. First you have write a dividend and by division. Okay, five hundred and fifty seven by five. Here first it divided by the hundred place. How many fives are five? Yes, one five is a five. So you have write a number one and quotient five write in dividend five minus five is zero. Then bring down the tens place. Yes, five. Again, yes, one five is a five. So you have write a number one and quotient and write a five in dividend. Then subtract. Yes, five minus five zero. Then bring down the seven. Yes, how many five is a seven? No, one five is a Five two five is a ten. So you have taken number one. One five is a five. Because two five is a ten. Ten seven hundred ten. I think so. You can take a one only one. One five is a five. So seven minus five yes two. The four quotient hundred and eleven. The four quotient hundred and eleven. Then remainder two. The four quotient hundred and eleven. Remainder. Two. Okay, children. This was homework. Divide the following. Uh, find out the quotient and remainder. First one. Uh, divide six hundred and thirty nine by three. Second one. Seven hundred and seventy seven by seven. Third one. Seven hundred and thirty five by seven. Fourth one. Three hundred and sixty five by three. Fifth one. Eight hundred and sixty seven by six. Then sixth one. Four hundred and forty-seven by two. Students, take your note and pencil. Write the division of three-digit number by a one-digit number, and do the homework also. Thank you, children.